Hey guys, I am going to fire up eCampus here and uh, look at some of these rigging uh, suggestions here uh, that you guys put. Um, by the way, it is um, uh, welcome to the uh, rigging class lecture uh, for, let's see, this one was going to be for Friday the 3rd, just getting it to it late tonight. Um, but uh, anyway, hope you guys can follow along. And uh, one of the things that I want to say is if you can't follow along, what I want you to, you know, if you don't have the technology or um, Maya or fast enough computer to do this uh, from home, um, I would like you to uh, write a one page uh, summary of, uh, of this video and uh, submit it. Uh, to me, uh, to my email, and uh, my email is going to be ccurra at dccd.edu. Okay, um, so let's take a look at some of these here. Um, what would you like to rig? Oh, that's me. Okay, uh, I guess I would like to see Spider Man holding a rocket launcher. Okay, well, we've done, sp I think we did Spider Man before. Uh, let's see, what is it? Some of the lines of an apex character, I guess humanoid shape is what I'm saying. Okay. I like to see a quadruped. Oh boy, quadrupeds are quite challenging. Oh, that would be interesting too. Hmm. That might sound as but a mechanical spider or something like that. Now that sounds like something we can do today. So let's fire up uh, one of my favorite sites, CADNAV. And let's. So CADNAV's a little weird. You have to. Um, Click on something and then the search pops up. I'm going to do spider. And um, let's take a look at some of these. I think we've done, we did something in here before. Ooh, these are cool. Oh boy. Let's do something without 100 million legs. Um, Keep looking here. I believe we've done a. Oh, look at this. This is cool. This is already rigged. And that looks like it's done in Maya, actually, which is pretty cool. Um. Okay, well, let's see. No, it's not robot. Let's go back to our search here. See if we can find something robotic. And that looks cool. Actually, let's modify our search here. Add the word robot. See what we get. No, that's not going to do it. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Looks like there's a lot of parts going on there, but typically in those type of rigs, there's not a whole lot of joints, which is kind of crazy. Now that's cool. I don't know what that is. Robot flying something or other. I really kind of want to do something simple here. Let's just do like a simple robot. Let's see if we can't get lucky. Not go too crazy. I'm just not winning here. Let's go to Google. Spider robot model. And then, of course, free. Oh my gosh, can you actually buy? Oh my gosh. Oh, those are actual toys. I was going to say, can you actually buy models on uh, 
Google now? That's so crazy. This actually doesn't look that bad. Uh. Oh, this. Let's see if we can get this thing. Um, let's go to free. Oh, free3D.com. Oh, four dollars. Dang it. Let's do robot spider here. Do a search on free3D. See what we can find. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's twenty-five dollars. Dang it. How do we switch to free? Do do do. Free three D models. Here we go. Oh, searching on premium. Well, these are all not great. The CADNAV ones were way better, so jump back back over to CADNAV. Yeah, I really love CADNAV. We'll just go to Spider. We'll get something cool. Oh, not that one. Spider 3D models. We'll just do a simpler one. Oh, that's interesting. That's cool. Oh my god. Oh man, look at this guy. How funny. <laughs> you know what? I got a good feeling about this one. Right, it's a dot max. Ugh. Of course. You need something that's, um, oh, look at that one. What's this one? Dot max. Dang it. I don't have 3D Studio Max on this machine, so I can't. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. It's like a. Um, these are all dot max. Yay. I can't catch a break here. No FBX anywhere to be found. FBX would be a whole lot simpler. Let me try Spider Maya. Oh, there's an OBJ. You know what? Let's grab this guy. Let's do it. OBJ, that'll work. Download. All right, so now let's fire up Maya. And we're gonna go file import, and let's jump back down to sure there's a spider. Nope. What was that called? Cat. Oh, I have to unzip it. Right click, seven zip, extract here. Um, go into here. Copy this, Control C, you can even do copy. Right click copy. Come back over here, file open scene. Actually, no, we have to import since it's an OBJ. So file import, right click, paste, open. And there it is. And if you have the texture in the same directory, it's going to, well, it should 
the texture should pop right in. If it doesn't, go to Windows, General Editors, uh, File Path Editor. There at the heck, man. Texture's not assigned. Okay, let's go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. And uh, actually, 4 is wireframe, 5 is flat shaded, and 6 is supposed to be textured, but it's not showing up, which is really bizarre. So let's. Um, where did that go, man? Um, let's just pull that back. Windows, uh, rendering editors, hypershade, and I'm gonna no material here. So we'll go ahead and create a blend. And on this blend, I'm gonna come down here to color, file, and then the little folder. I'm gonna desktop, uh, CAD nav, CAD nav models, BB. And then that one, I can middle mouse drag onto the spider. And now our spider has a texture. And that is a cool looking spider. It's got some shine to it. Um, so if that's a problem, you can just go back into the rendering editor, hypershade. And instead of blends, we'll come down here into the blend settings. And you can pull the specular down. As you can see, that affects the shine. And, uh, whoops, don't want to do that. And now Spider is not shiny anymore. So I'm holding Alt and using my three mouse buttons to move around here. Just holding Alt on the keyboard. All right, so let's go ahead and move Mr. Spider, W on the keyboard, to the center here. And I'll tap my space bar, look at it in four views. And I basically want to just make sure, tap four on my keyboard for wireframe, Make sure that this spider, I'm just going to put the center in the grid. And um, when you zoom in on this, you'll notice the straight line is off. And um, if you hold shift and middle mouse drag, when you're zoomed in like this, you can move it. And I'm just going to move the spider in the very center of the grid, just like that. Tap my space bar again, and it is. Um, over the good and uh, claws are on the floor ish good enough all right let's begin this rig so first and foremost what we're going to do is add a joint here I'm going to double click my joints tool actually I'm going to change my drop down to rigging and uh, double click my joint uh, paint skin or joint tool here and uncheck variable bone radius settings and this allows it to where the spider will, um, the, the bones that I create for the spider will all be the same size. So I'm going to start by clicking a bone here and hit enter. And when I hit enter, I can tap W, E, and R to move rotator scale. And uh, move is what I'm going to, well, I want to do with this. Actually, I'm going to leave that one there. And I'm going to create this one and rename it, call it root. And we always want to, um, have a joint in that area and name it root. Okay. And um, one of the things that I'm going to do is change my view mode here. I'm sorry, shading to x ray joints. And what this allows is for me to be able to see the joints through the spider here. So I see I can see them. And um, actually, that works a whole lot better. Don't need to see textures. My Windows key is right next to my Alt key, which is why that keeps popping up so annoying. Um, so I'm going to uh, edit, duplicate, or Control D. From now on, I will be doing Control D, and I'm just going to move this up, and I'm going to spacebar over to this view. And uh, what's really cool about this is if you look at the spider, there's three balls. There's the butt, and he kind of has this area and then a head and this joint when I move it up it actually looks like it moves perfectly in place of this circular area so I'm just gonna leave it right there and in fact and what I would do normally is I would um, create a couple joints I put one there I put one there and then one in the butt um, 
And you know what I'll do? I'll actually tap spacebar again. I'll come over here. And I'm just going to duplicate this one, Control D. And I'm going to move this one to the butt. And I'll just move it up a little bit too. Because as you can see, these lines kind of come down. I'll just move it over. And this one we call butt. And this one I'm going to call head. So for these purposes, I'm just going to create the one head. Okay. All right, so we got a um, couple joints so far. Uh, now let's go ahead and do the legs. So many legs. It's driving me crazy here. Really did not want to do this many legs, but we'll keep it simple. All right, so I'm going to um, let's duplicate this joint. And we're going to move this over and down. Okay. And let's come up over here. Ay, ay, ay. This is something else. This model. I don't know what all this stuff is. This looks like a mobile game model because it's just so low in polygons. And I'm just going to jump to my top view here just to make sure that I got these in the center of these legs. It looks like it's in the right place vertically. I mean, sorry, horizontally right there. So, and you know what? There's a term in rigging or in life. Um, you know, there's good and there's good enough. For right now, we're just going to do good enough. So I'm going to duplicate that one, move it on over, move it on up. And uh, let's make sure that this is properly in the knee. So I'm just going to, yeah, this model is like, you know what this almost looks like to me? It looks like somebody took an actual legit spider model and they did like a auto, um, some sort of an automatic uh, reduction of polygons or something, and it's going to be a nightmare when we actually start weighting this thing, but we'll be all right. And then, uh, last but not least, I'm not going to do it. You know, normally for something like this, you'd want to do like one there, one there, one here, one there, one there, one there. For here, I'm just going to like, we're going to do the Cliff Notes version of this. I'm just going to add some simple, simple ones. And I'm going to duplicate this again, and I'm going to hold V on my keyboard, and that will snap to the tip uh, polygon or vertice there. So I have, as you can see, these, these so far. Just tap 4 on my keyboard to see that. Okay. Making progress here, and I'll, I can parent these up so far. So I'm going to select this one, hold shift, select this one, tap P. Grab this one, hold shift, select this one, tap P. Hold shift, select this one, tap P. And then um, trying to think if we want to have a like a root. We just want everything to go to the head. We, the problem is if we have everything go to the head, we can't rotate the head independently. So we do really need a root. So what I'm going to do is grab the head and um, actually, you know what I might do? Actually, um, hmm. Let me see. I'm trying to think if I want to add a root node. You know what, for now, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to, just going to not do anything. So the cool thing is, I'll show you a trick here. Uh, I can duplicate this joint set. And this is unfortunately called head one head. 
I screwed that up, so I'm just going to call this um, leg one. Actually, I'll show you a trick. Oh, I'm going to do that. Let's see, this one's going to be leg two. And this will be leg three. And this will be leg four. And what we really want to do is have those be like you know, this will be like left front leg. So it would be like, I would call it like L. And it would be like left front leg one, left front leg two, left front, front leg three. So it would be like left something other leg, left middle leg, and back left leg, and then right, et cetera, et cetera. But for quickness purposes, I'm just going to do this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my top view, and I'm going to duplicate this whole chain. So control D. And then I'm going to move this down, and then I'm going to tap E to rotate. Okay. And now from that view, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that for the other legs as well. So let's come over here. I'll select this back leg. And I'm going to duplicate again, Control D. And I'm going to move that. And rotate, uh, rotate as well. I wonder if you can disable the Windows key for uh, for something. So rotate this in, and I know they don't fit, but don't worry about that. And last but not least, duplicate this one and move it down. I don't even know if this is actually in the right spot. Ah, I can move those later. We just want it to line up with the leg right now. So let's just line it up with the leg. And it kind of lines up. Oh. All right, good enough. So now I'm going to line up these joints to their correct place. So first, let's check and see if the joints are in the right place where they're supposed to be for the leg. And I'm just going to move this one up a little bit so it's in the model. And this one, I'm just going to move over. To be in the knee here. And then this one, I'm just going to move to the knee. Doesn't have to be perfect. And this one, all you do is hold V, snap to the tip. And that's it. That's how we move all these in the right location. Do the same uh, for this one here. Just going to. It actually looks like it's in a pretty good spot. Grab this one, kind of move it into the knee here. Looks pretty good. Come over here, move it into the knee. And I'm grabbing into the center of the mover here. And it allows me to do that. All right, and we just, we've already done this one, so we'll do back leg here. And uh, let's see. Actually, it looks like it's in a good spot. Maybe a little lower. I'll grab the knee, move the knee into place. All right, and then we will move uh, this knee into place. And hold V, snap that into place. And there we go, we got our legs. And I still haven't decided whether I want to um, create like a hip or something. Um, you know what? I guess what we can do is we can always. Um, yeah, I just don't know. Let's, let's try parenting this in. Okay. So these two, let's try parenting to the root. 
I just don't like the way that looks. You do really need like a hip or something. So I'm going to take the root, duplicate it, and really we want that root like right there or something. Actually, the model, see that center point? The model kind of calls for it to be like right there. Um, actually, you know what we could do? Why don't we just call this head? Um, okay. What we're going to do is we are going to move this head to here. And then we are going to move this one there. And this one we're going to call body. And this one we will call head, which it's already called head. And then we will parent the butt and the head to the body. So they can rotate independently. And then we will parent the body to the root. And by the way, I'm just selecting the bone and holding shift and selecting another bone and tapping P. Then I'm going to shift select all four legs and click the body and tap P. And now those legs are parented to the body. Pretty easy. So now what we can do is since the model, hopefully the modeler made the model um, uh, symmetrical, we can just come up here to skeleton. I have one leg selected, skeleton, and we'll do a mirror joints. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to click apply. Whoops. And that popped here, not over. So I'm going to middle, middle mouse in the view, control Z. And um, I'm going to change that from XY to YZ and hit apply. Now that is mirrored over correctly. So now I'll just like the next leg down and hit apply. Next leg down, apply. Next leg down, apply. So now they are all mirrored. We have our rig ready to go. And I just noticed an issue, which is weird. Um, my issue is, if you notice the front leg here, it's not symmetrical with this other leg, because I noticed the joints are, um, the joints are missing. And so with that being said, uh, that tells me right there that what they did was uh, they used some sort of a polygon uh, tool to cut this down to size automatically. So no, no problem. We'll just go ahead and move this on over. Sometimes, you know, you want to try and do as many automatic tools in Maya as you can, but, um, you know, you never... It's never going to be perfect. There's no ever perfect snare. There we go. Perfect. Well, perfect-ish. And here we go. Now our rig is in place. Cool. All right. So first things first, before we tap six on my keyboard, take a look at our rig. Fits in there. All right. Now, uh, first things first, before we um, ever do anything, let's go ahead and save this scene. And on my computer here, my desktop, I want to make a new folder spider and actually you know what I'm gonna do I am going to put this on my D drive make a new folder call it rigging and in here make a new folder call it spider and in there I'm going to call this spider all right, always want to save your work. And um, now let's rig this. First, first, before you rig it, you need to delete history and freeze transformations. And what that does is um, basically all this stuff over here, this 0.7 and 15, gets rid of that and gets rid of all the history. Edit, delete by type, history, modify, and freeze transformations. All right, so I select the model and I'm going to shift select the root. We're going to go to skin. And, um, and it doesn't really matter for this one. I'm just going to apply. So now that's going to colorize our skeleton here. As you can see, it's different colors. 
So let's check to see how it looks. Grab the butt, move it around, and oh my gosh, that did not do anything close to what we wanted. Let's grab the body, move it around. That works ish. Looks like some stuff got left behind. I can only imagine how fun this is going to be to do. Probably the legs are decent. Yeah. One of the benefits, oh my gosh, look at those legs are really well put together. One of the ben uh, one of the benefits of a um, mobile model is that there's not that much polygons to work with, so it, um, man, that's great. That's really great. Looks like we just need to do some body work here. <clears throat> All right, so let's start with this big butt. That should be pretty easy. So let's jump over to Paint Skin Weights tool here. Fire it up. And uh, first and foremost, I'm going to grab all the polys on, or uh, verts on this butt. So I'm just like right click and hold. Select vertices. Click this little vertice here. And I'm going to hold shift and then tap my greater than symbol, which is where the period is on your keyboard. Tap once, tap two, tap three, and that gets all the butt vertices here. Double click my paint skin weights tool. Let's find the butt, and then we're going to click flood. Okay, so that got all the butt there. Look at that. All right, and we'll do the same thing for the head. So now when I select the butt here and hit rotate, it's going to rotate the butt. Now let's do the head. And uh, one of the cool things, if some of this leg was affecting the butt, when I blew, when I did 100% weighting on the butt, that leg no longer affects the butt. So I'm going to come down here to the head, go to vertice, and I'm going to select the two tips of these um, teeth here and do the same thing. Hold shift, click greater than symbol a couple times. And to get all of those, um, but I want the head too. Those aren't part of the head, so it doesn't follow in with the selection. So I'm going to click a tip on the head as well. Hold shift, greater than symbol. And it looks like I got that piece of the head there, which is nice. A little bit of some other stuff here, which is OK. Tap my um, paint skin weights tool and hit flood. Right? So let's give that head a test. So I'm going to select the head, rotate a little bit. Oh, gosh. That's funny. Why did that do that? Oh, I did it on the wrong um, thing. So I'm going to select the vertices again, tap it. And this, I did it on the butt. Whoops. I don't want to do the butt. I want to do the head. So select the head and flood. All right. So let's just test it out. Butt moves the butt, and the head now moves the head. Sweet. That's exactly what we wanted. That was easy. All right. Uh, now, um, let's check these legs. The legs actually look pretty good. Notice when I move this leg, gosh, it had a little bit of movement um, on the other legs. So what we're going to do is go through the process here. Let's, let's select... Let's select some leg action here. So I'm going to go to show uh, joints to turn off my joints. And let's grab some vertices. Hold shift, tap my greater than. Let's get most of that leg. And double click my paint skin weights tool. Uh, so let's move through some of these leg joints. So what we're going to do is find legs that are close to this one, like this one, okay? And um, I'm gonna, if I turn my joints back on, you can see that the, these are blue and that they're selected, okay? And I just use my up arrow to move through these legs here. And as you can see, when I have this joint selected, there's some white that's on this leg here, which means it's affecting it. And I'm just going to tap hold shift and tap greater than one more time to select uh, the, the most vertices on this leg. <clears throat> and let's go here. 
Get back down there. Down, 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 arrow. Okay. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm on this joint here. And since I have these selected, what I'm going to do is change my opacity to zero and hit flood. And that should have gone to... Oh, not opacity. Value needs to be zero and hit flood. See, now that becomes black. So I'll go to the next one. Flood, next one, flood, next one, flood, which shouldn't matter. Okay, so that's just an example of what that does. So I'm going to go through all of, I just basically removed any of the weighting on this leg from this leg. So I'm just going to go through my legs here one by one and do that for each so that they're not affected. So I'm going to go to vertex, hold shift, select all of that leg, double click my paint skin weights tool, and let's find the leg next to it, which is right there. And it doesn't really look like that one affects it at all. A little bit. There's some white over here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do flood, flood, flood. Okay. Next leg. Starting to get the picture here. It's not terrible. Got that leg. Double click my paint skin waste tool. Now let's find the leg next to it. It's that leg. It looks like this leg to the right of it actually has some influence on it. So let's go to flood, 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 and flood. Now let's find this leg. So I'm just going to use my arrows. There it is. And that definitely has some influence on it and also on this leg. So let's go to flood. Flood and flood. Okay. And so we know that. So let's go to vertices. Select that. Double click our paint skin weights tool. And while we're there, we will go back up here and we will do flood, 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 and flood. And last but not least, we need to remove the weights off of this leg. All right, double click our paint skin weights tool. And let's find some more leg action here. Where is that leg? There it is. All right, so we're going to do flood, flood, and flood. All right, so let's test out these legs. So this one, oh, looks like this one moves a little bit of stuff over there. This one's on its own, this one's on its own, and this one's on its own. So what did I, this one moves some stuff over here. So let's go to joints, vertices, select all these. Double click our paint skin weights tool and let's find the joints in this leg. There it is. And we're, as you can see, it's a little white here, so we're gonna do flood, 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 and flood. Now let's test that out. Yep, works perfectly. Go ahead and save our scene here. I'm going to save it as a new file. Call this Spider 2. Hit save. And now what we're going to do is I want to, we've already done the weighting on these legs. Um, these three, I believe, are symmetrical. Let's test them out. They still kind of move some stuff over here. What I want to do is test out how symmetrical these objects are. And it's probably not going to work, but. And you know what, actually? Let's just keep it simple. Let's just do it the manual way because I know it will work this way. So I'm just going to go to, I was going to try and mirror them over, but the fact that, um, yeah, it's just not going to work. So I was going to try and mirror the weights, but let's not do that. Let's just do this the old fashioned way. So 
Um, let's go back to joints here. In fact, I'm going to pop this out because I'm jumping back and forth here. So joints. All right, let's rotate this one. Let's rotate this one. Yeah, I've got to do a bunch of stuff. So joints. All right, let's go to vertices. All right, so let's select all those and double click the paint skin weights tool. Let's find the leg on this guy. We're going to do flood, 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 and flood. Okay, so these ones will no longer affect these ones. Oh, this is getting in the way. All right, so let's go now to this leg. Select these verts. We do the Oh, that's cool. They're all um, separate. The legs are separate. Okay. So let's find this leg. Let's start with this one, and we're going to do flood, 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 and flood. Now let's find the other leg on the other side. Where is it? There it is. And we're going to do flood, 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 and flood. And now let's get this back leg. All right. And double click the paint skin weights tool. And let's find the legs on either side. So we'll start with this one flood, 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 and flood. Now let's find the leg on the other side. Be that back one, this one here, and we're gonna do flood, 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 and flood. All right, last leg. This is just a quick way. I was gonna mirror them over. I know it's not gonna work because this thing was auto polyed to make it smaller. So I'm just gonna do this. Almost done anyway. Sometimes doing stuff the manual way. It's just the best way to go about it because you know it's going to get done. Flood, 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 and flood. That way when you do it the manual way, um, it's just done and you get it done in a quicker amount of time. It's a little bit more work, but you know what? Whatever. All right. We're rocking and rolling here. Got our legs. Got our body. So body moves around. Um... Head rotates Mr. Spider. He's got his butt going on, and uh, all the legs do what they're supposed to be doing. Pretty cool. And that's a really, really quick way to rig this guy. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, let's see how long we've been going so far. Uh, I don't even know. But. Um, what we're going to do is uh, next time we will um, do the controls for this guy. Um, so I'm going to end the video here for tonight. Uh, any questions, uh, definitely uh, message me. All right. Thanks, guys.